Hey. Hey, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be um, doing a tier list of all of the starters. Um, yeah. So, basically, we're going to be tier doing a tier list of all of the starters in an amazing franchise called Pokemon. Who doesn't know Pokemon? And if you want to see any more tier list, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget that notification bell. Let's get right into it. Let's scroll down. These are the tiers, by the way. We have your ninja tier. It's kind of obvious. We have S, A, B, C, D, E, F, and not a starter. Because while scrolling through this, I saw a starter that wasn't from a, from a main series game. So that doesn't count. So starting off, we have Bulbasaur. I like Bulbasaur, in my opinion. Bulbasaur is a pretty cool Pokemon, even though it is kind of lame because it's just a frog with a bulb on its back. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. I think I'm going to put it in uh, C tier. Let's put it in the high C. Okay, next up is Ivysaur. I like Ivysaur less than Bulbasaur, but it's still a pretty cool Pokemon, so I'm going to put it in D tier. Um, Venusaur, I like it better than Bulbasaur, so I'm gonna put it in high C tier instead of um just Bulbasaur's just normal C tier. Then we have Charmander, which Charmander is pretty cool. Just, I think I'm gonna put it in the same tier as uh, Ivysaur. Uh, I like it more than Ivysaur, so I'm gonna put it above it. Charmeleon, I like less than Ivysaur, but still around the same tier. And Charizard, uh, I've started, uh, Charizard started to grow on me. I'm gonna put him in B tier. Like, before, I'm like, I like Venusaur better than Charizard. Charizard is the worst Kanto starter. But then he starts to grow on me. Grow on me. So, that's why he's gonna have to be a higher, uh, than Venusaur in B tier. Next up is Squirtle, my favorite Kanto starter. I'm putting that above Charizard. Actually, I'm gonna put it in A tier. I love Squirtle. I love Squirtle. Put it in A tier. Um, War Turtle. Uh, uh, I don't really like War, War Turtle that much. But I still like it more than Venusaur. So I'm going to put it in low B. And then Blastoise. I like just as much as, uh, let me go up, as um, Squirtle. But, hmm. Which one do I like more? Uh, I think I like Blastoise a bit more. So I'm going to put him in there. Next up we have Eevee, which is a starter. I'm going to count I'm going to count Eevee. I'm going to count Eevee. I'm going to put Eevee in... I don't think it just go up. We're counting Eevee, not its evolutions. Because you can't evolve your Eevee. You use it as a starter. I'm gonna put it above Charmeleon. That's about it. <laughs> I'm gonna get a lot of hate for putting Eevee that low. Um, Chikorita. In my opinion, I like the Chikorita line, but Chikorita itself, I think, looks kind of stupid. So I'm gonna put it in E tier. First E tier. Okay, Bayleaf. I really like Bayleaf. Bayleaf's cool. Let me go up a bit. I like Bayleaf. I think Bayleaf's cool. I'm gonna put it in. Actually, it's my f it's my favorite out of B tier. I'm putting it above Charizard. Uh, I'm putting it above Charizard. I like Bayleaf. Bayleaf's a cool Pokemon. Uh, just gonna overlook it. I feel like I like Bayleaf better than normal Charizard. But if you count Megas, then I like Charizard better. If you count, count Megas. If you count Megas, I like it better than Blastoise. I'm gonna keep it there, because I'm counting normal Charizard. Uh, Meganium. I love Meganium. I love it. <laughs> Meganium, I'm gonna put you in low A's here. That's what I'm gonna do. 
I like Meganium better than Charizard, but I still like Mega. If if you were to rate Mega Charizard, it would be an S tier, easy S tier. Mega Charizard X, easy S tier. Okay, Cyndaquil. I like Cyndaquil better than Chikorita. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it high D tier. I like it. Quilava. It's gonna be. It's interesting. I'll put it in low C tier. I'll put it in low C. Uh, Typhlosion. The 3D sprite kind of sucks, in my opinion. We're counting everything about the Pokemon. Oh, <laughs> go back up there. Okay, Typhlosion. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of Typhlosion. I like Cynical and Quilava better than Typhlosion. Uh, I'm gonna put it in. Uh, low D. I know a lot of people love Typhlosion. I just like Quilava and Cynical better. And I don't know where I'm supposed to put it. I don't want to put an E. It's not that bad. It's not It's not Chikorita. But I don't really like Chikorita. But I, I like Typhlosion better than Chikorita. I know that. I like Charmeleon better. Um, Totodile. It's cute. It's a cute Pokemon. I'm going to put it above Quilava. Croconaw. F tier. Instant S F tier. I don't like Croconaw. Croconaw's stupid. I don't like it. Croconaw's a stupid Pokemon. Like, no one would ever... Like, like the Totodile line for Croconaw. Unless there's someone out there that likes Croconaw better. I don't like Croconaw. Croconaw's an ugly, stupid starter. I'm sorry for those people who like Croc and all, but I think it's a stupid starter. Well, is the mid stage? We did go through quite a bit of good mid stages, like Quilava. That's pretty good mid stage, but that's probably okay. The good we went through pretty good mid stages, like like Bayleaf, War Turtle, Ivysaur, and Quilava. Are good mid stages, but. <laughs> No thanks to Croconaw. I don't like Croconaw. Okay. Okay. Feraligator. Hmm. Uh, it's just a buff crocodile. Uh, I think I'm going to put it in high D. High D. Which... Then makes Meganium my favorite starter for the Johto games. Which is pretty, pretty, pretty surprising. Um, Trico. Okay. Trico is a good Pokemon. I like Trico. But I don't know if it's B tier material. Sceptile is definitely probably above B tier. Uh, I'm going to put it... Right in between Bulbasaur and Ivysaur. That's where I'm going to put it. Grovile. I like Grovile. Grovile is pretty cool. I'm going to put Grovile in low B. Now, Sceptile. Where am I, where am I going to put Sceptile? What am I going to do with you, Sceptile? Um, Sceptile. Which one, which one do I like more? Blastoise or Sceptile? I like both of them. I'm going to say they're tied, but I'm going to put Sceptile above it. Just because. Sceptile is a cool Pokemon. Not for Torchic. Torchic's cute. I like Torchic. But it's not up there in the starters. It's not that far up in the start. I think I'm going to put it in between Quilava and uh, Dial. And for Combuskin, uh, F tier. Uh, it's stupid. The stupid chicken. It's just a stupid chicken. That's all I got to say. It's not a good Pokemon at all. Okay, now for Blaziken. Blaziken's cool. I... Oh, which one do I like more? Blaziken or Sceptile? If, if you're counting Megas, I like Sceptile better. But the normal ones, I'm not sure. 
Honestly, I like Blaziken more. I like Blaziken more. Not Mudkip. M M Mudkip's next. No, I gotta say something about Mudkip's. I gotta say something about Mudkip's. I gotta say something. I gotta, I gotta say something. Mudkip, uh, Mudkip, I love you, but I'm putting you below. Okay, no. I'm putting you below Squirtle. Okay, so it's gonna be low, low A tier. <laughs> A lot of people love Mudkip, but I don't like it as much as Final Evolution, which you'll see what tier I'm putting it in later. But, uh, yeah. Mudkip's a good Pokemon, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely not S tier material. Now, Marshtomp. Marshtomp, I hate. I. I like less than Mudkip. But it's also Derby, which makes it funny. But I'm gonna put it a I'm gonna put it in mid C tier. Mid C. Mid C should be good. Swampert. Now let me talk about Swampert. I love Swampert. Swampert is a mate. Swampert is definitely, no matter what you say, is an S tier starter. I love Swampert. Swampert is one of my top five favorite Pokemon of all time. Well, yet again, I have three three starters in my top favorites, which, <laughs> as you can tell by that Greninja tier there, we'll get to that. But I love, 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 love Swampert. It's Mega Form. I like Mega Form better. Even though a lot of people say it's stupid, they like they, he skipped Leg Day, which I think is actually quite funny that they say that. But no matter what you say, I love Swampert. <laughs> I just love it. I don't know which one I like better, Mega or Normal. But now for Turtwig. 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 Uh, uh, hmm, a lot of people are going to hate me for this, but uh, I'm putting it in E tier. I know I picked... I know I played Sinnoh, and the first Pokemon I picked in Sinnoh was Turtwig. Then I got to the... <laughs> First, like the first town, Se second town, and then got stuck, and then I restarted it and picked Chimchar. Okay, so I like Turtwig, but when you're talking about all the other great starters, there are he's not even close to as good. Like Turtwig's like a met Pokemon. If they released it as like another Pokemon of the region, not a starter. I would really like Turtwig compared to the other starters. Not really, not really that special. Next up is Gro Grodel. Uh, Grodel, I let I'm gonna put it in low D tier. I don't really like Grodel that much. Uh, Grodel's same, same with same with Turtwig. It's kind of bland, in my opinion. Like it's just it's just a turtle with the with plants on its back, uh, or should I say, with um, bushes on its back, and then that's just a turtle with a twig on its head, which is kind of lazy, if you ask me. But with the final evolution, I really like the final evolution, even though it's it's still bland, but it's less bland. I like it, which means I'm gonna put in. I definitely don't like it more than Blastoise, which is an A tier. I'm gonna put it high C tier. Uh, it's my favorite C tier so far. And then we have Chimchar. Ch Chimchar, my boy Chimchar. Low B tier. It's a pretty good Pokemon. I love Chimchar. Even though it is a bland Pokemon, you know, this one, this one's gonna pass <laughs> on the blandness. Uh, even though it is still bland, I still like Chimchar quite a bit. Next up, we have Monferno. I don't like Monferno that much. I think it's gonna be mid, mid, mid D tier. Mid D tier. I like it better than the ones before it, but not as much as the ones after it. Now, Infernape. My boy, Infernape. 
I love Infernape. Okay, Infernape. You above, above Swampert. I love Infernape. My first Pokemon game that I actually played through was X and Y, but the first Pokemon game I've ever opened and played and just just moved my character in was Pokemon Platinum, which came out around the time I was born, 2008. Um, but I love I love Infernape. Infernape's such a cool Pokemon. Uh, I beat the game with an Infernape named Goku. I don't know why, just I named him Goku, because that's, he, he, he just fit that name in my opinion. And he's a really cool fire monkey, I really like him. And he's also in my top five. <laughs> okay, we have one more starter left to go in my top five. Next up is Piplup. Piplup's pretty cool. I'm going to put it in, what should I put Piplup in? I'm going to put it in, I'm going to put it right here. Above Torchic lava but not as good as the ones before it i'm gonna put it there and print up f tier Napoleon e tier uh i don't like these pokemon i don't know why i just don't like these pokemon uh, uh i like to create it better um i don't like these pokemon at all um, so far, Primplup's my least favorite Pokemon on this list, and I could easily put Empoleon in high F tier. Not, not, like, I don't really like these Pokemon. I don't know why, though. I, I, the only cool thing about it is that it has blade flippers. That's the only cool thing about it. But its face is so stupid. For both of them. I don't know why I don't like this Pokemon. But I think they're pretty stupid. Next up we have Snivy. Snivy is, Snivy is, Snivy is an easy. An easy high. Not high. Um, Let's put it in. Low D. Wait no. No. Uh. Um, I'm gonna put it, it's getting so hectic. Um, I like Snivy better than that. Not as much. Okay, I'm gonna put it around the same place where Monferno is. Because I like it better than the Pokemon before it. The Pokemon after it, they win by a lot. <laughs> so, the reason I like Snivy is because it's just a cool little grass boy. It's, it's pretty boring, though. Like, a lot of the first evolutions starters are boring. But, not as boring as Turtwig. Turtwig's just a <laughs> lot more boring, in my opinion. But next up, we have Servine. Uh, Servine. I like it less than some Ivy. I think I'm going to put it in. I still like it better than Grottle, though. Okay, I'm going to put it above Grottle. I'm putting it in low D tier. No, um, Viper. Wait, is that its name? I don't even know its name. I don't know its name, but I'm gonna put that in. Uh, there, there. You go. I'm gonna put it in low C tier. It's, it's a pretty good Pokemon. Now for Tepic. Tepic. I love Tepic. Tepic. I'm putting you. Above Torchic. I'm putting Tepic in above Torchic. I picked Tepic in Pokemon Black before I lost it. Or it got stolen. I'm not sure which one it was. But, uh, yeah, I love Tepic. But, uh, different story here. Different story. Uh, the second worst starter ever for mid evolutions as of now. I hate Big Knight. It's so stupid. I don't like it. <laughs> but it's a different story with um, Embor because I love Embor. Embor is amazing. Embor, 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 I don't know how to talk. But Embor is amazing. I'm going to put it in 
here. I'm gonna put it right here. I like it better than Charizard. That's a tough statement to make. Everyone says they hate Embor, but I love Embor. Embor is amazing. Now let's go back down there for more Pokemon. Then we have a... Where's Oshawa? There it is. Okay, I'm gonna take Oshawa. Okay, Oshawa. Uh... I don't know where I'm supposed to put Oshawa. Where am I gonna put Oshawa? Oshawa's cute. Not as good as Piplup, though. I'm gonna put it right under Piplup. Right under Piplup. Actually, under under Zervine. And Tepic. There we go. Actually, <laughs> his favorite out of C. Okay, I'm gonna put it low C. Uh, it's cute. But it's also ugly at the same time, in my opinion. All right, it's cute, but yeah, ugly at the same time. Do I? My favorite out of the the um, Samurai line or the Oshawa line, I'm going to put it just above Oshawa. Just above Oshawa. Put it just, just above Oshawa. There you go. That's Now, Samurai. Uh... I'm sorry, Samurai. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't like you. I don't like you. Uh, let's put it there. Um, about mid E tier. That's where I'm putting it. It's about mid E tier. Uh, I I don't like the beard. I don't like it. It's it's trash. I don't like the Pokemon. Normally, I love the Water Starter. It's like. The best starter in basically every region, other than like two to three regions. <laughs> two to three regions. Okay. Um, I don't like the Pokemon. I don't. Okay, now for Chespin. Um, Chespin. Chespin. Uh, you're cute and all. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put it above Duat and Oshawott, so low C. Quilden! Uh,. I hate it more than Primplup. I hate it more than Primplup. It's it's a derpy, but not in a good way. It's a stupid evolution. It's just a fat chestpin. That's all it is. It's a stupid evolution. I don't like it. Which also brings me to Chestnut. I hate Chestnut. Chestnut is garbage. It's the second worst fully evolved starter. It's garbage. I don't like it. I'm more Fennec in here. Fennec in, Fennec in, Fennec in is pretty good. Uh, I like it. I like it. I like it. Uh, I'm putting it. I'm, I'm putting it somewhere in C tier. Ah. Uh, okay, let's put it. Let's put it right above Tepic, but nowhere under Tepic. So that's I like Fennekin, but next two evolutions. I'm sorry, I. Del Fox. Go in the trash pit. Go in the trash pit. <laughs> Going right here under, uh, uh, Turtwig. I don't like it. it has a stick in its butt. Which is weird, and has really long ear hair. It has has longer ear hair than Fennekin. Fennekin's ear hair is just like okay, I'm fine with it. But this is just too much. Now for Delphox, its entire body is hair. Ew, disgusting. The worst starter. Other than Quilton, it's the worst starter other than Quilton. It it's the worst fully evolved starter. No one can deny that. It's the worst fully evolved starter. Next up, okay. Next, next up, uh, you, you boy, uh, boy, <laughs> uh, you know where, you know, you know where Froakie's going. Froakie's going in uh, high A tier. Right here. What did I do? Okay, there, there you go. Okay, Frogadier, you're coming with me. Uh, you're coming with me, Frogadier. Come with me. Frogadier, Frogadier, you're going in. Where 
Where's Froakie? Where'd Froakie go? Oh yeah, I put it in A tier. Oh no, I messed up. <laughs> I have to do this. Put it in A tier. Okay. Uh, and then this is gonna go in higher A tier. And then we all know where Greninja is going. <laughs> we all know where Greninja is going. Greninja is the best starter ever. Uh, no, it's definitely, no, yeah, it's not a starter, it's a legendary, okay? That's, okay, I'm gonna put it in not a starter tier, just kidding. It, it is a starter, it's a legendary starter. The, the two best things ever. Starter and a legendary, two best things ever. Uh, Ninja tier. I, I can't say much, I just love the Pokemon, it's my all-time favorite Pokemon, I like Ash Greninja better, but normal Greninja is still my favorite Pokemon. Like, if they didn't release Ash Greninja, normal Greninja would still be my favorite. It's such a cool Pokemon. It's a ninja. It's a ninja frog. Two things I love. Ninjas and frogs. And it's a water type. My second favorite type. I like electric type better, but it's my second favorite type. And it's mysterious and dark. And it's the best starter of Kalos, the first game I played through all the way. Because the other two starters suck. Which is, go, go check out my rating starter trio's worst to best. Because you'll find out why. I hate the others. Or you, you, you'll just see, you'll just see what happened to, to this trio. What? Just because of the other starters. Okay, Rowlet. I love Rowlet. Well, that's pretty cool. I love Rowlet. I'm gonna put it in. Uh, high B tier. I love Rowlet. It's my favorite out of the evolution line. This dude here, uh, low, low D. No. Hi E. I don't really like the, the middle evolution that much. I don't even remember the, what the middle evolution is called. Okay, now for the Uh, I don't like the Sidrui. The Sidrui is okay, but not as good as Rollet. I'm gonna put it in low B. Low B. Low B. Actually. Hi. I, don't, I mean. Well, high, high C, high C, high C, there we go, high C, high C, dude, that's where I'm gonna put it, <laughs> the kitty cats, the kitty cats, now I have something to say about the kitty cats, Linton, Linton, I love you, I love Linton, Linton is so amazing, I love Linton, I'm putting Linton in, Low B tier. I love Linton. Linton's amazing. Ah, uh, Torcat. Uh, it's worse than Linton, but it's still a pretty good Pokemon. I love it. Uh, high C tier. Um, <laughs> now this boy here, Incineroar, is my okay second favorite. Wait, did I say Litten was my favorite of the evolution line? <laughs> I forget I said that. If I did say that, I don't even remember if I said it. I like it. Right under Blastoise in A tier. It's a really cool Pokemon. I love that Pokemon. Actually, it's... Forget, for, for, forget, forget. It has become... When I first played Pokemon Sun and Moon, my favorite was Primarina and that... Nowadays, since I played Smash Bros, you know, I love it. Incineroar. Now, Piplup. 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 Not Piplup. Um, Poplio. Poplio. I'm going to put Poplio in. Lobby. I'm going to put Yon in. In low C, 
because I don't really like being on that much. But Primarina here. Primar Primarina, 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 Primarina. I love Primarina. I'm putting it in blue A tier. I love Primarina. That's amazing. Grookey. Um, I love Grookey. Grookey's amazing. I love it. Um, I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna put it in. Oh, let me think. About mid, 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 mid C tier. I'm putting in mid. Uh, mid C tier. I love. Still not my favorite um, uh, starter for Galar. Uh, um, this. It's better. It's better than Grotal, but it's still gonna be a, a low D tier. Um, Rillaboom. I love Rillaboom. Rillaboom's cool. I love Rillaboom. Uh, low C tier. Low C. Score Bunny. I'm not Score Bunny, but yeah, Score Bunny. Score Bunny. You are gonna go in. I D tier. I like Score Bunny. Score Bunny is pretty cool. I like it. These Pokemon, they're not a main series starter. So not a starter. Now for this boy here. I like I like this guy a lot. Because he has a ninja vibe. Um I'm putting him above Trico. There you go. Going right there. <laughs> Uh, and then Cinderace. I like you less than your middle evolution, which is kind of sad. Kind of, kind of really sad. Where's the? I'm gonna put him. Uh, I'm gonna put him right, right here. Uh, about mid, mid C. Uh, he's not the best. Uh, he's kind. He's extremely planned. Score, score Bunny's bland too, but keep in mind the first evolutions are always bland. Uh, but it's a final evolution. It's extremely bland for a final evolution. I don't like it. Next up, Sobble. I love Sobble. Sobble is my favorite of that evolution line and probably my favorite out of all of those starters. I'm putting it in low S, which is saying a lot. <laughs> Actually... Ooh, I forgot about Froakie and Frogtier. I didn't forget about him. I just forgot I put him in A tier. I'm putting it right under, right under them. I'm putting it right under them. I love Sobble. I'm putting it right under them. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't like this Pokemon. Teleon's better than it. I don't like this Pokemon. But I still like it better than those. I'm gonna put it in high E tier. High E. I don't like it that much, but it's still better than the ones before it. Inteleon. People say Inteleon looks stupid. I love Inteleon. Inteleon, you're going, you're going in a high B. High B. There you go. High B or low A. I'm not sure which one it will be, but I'm going to choose high B because people hate me less. Now for Pikachu. Pikachu is definitely a starter. And Pikachu is the last Pokemon on this list. And I'm going to put Pikachu. With Greninja. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm putting it in Pikachu. Pikachu. Pikachu here. Um, I'm going to put Pikachu. Oh, it's sad that I have already eliminated B. Um, Hi C. He's the channel mascot. He's a pretty decent Pokemon, and compared to the, all the starters, he's a high, high, pretty high, pretty high. In 
out of the starters. So let's do a recap. Starting from not a starter tier, we have Espion and Umbreon. They're a starter in Coliseum and XD, but not in this game. But no, not in main series. F tier. Croconaut. Combuskin. Pig Knight. <laughs> Premplub, but Del Fox. And Quilden. They're all stupid. Now for... We have easier. The first one. I think it's... Resile, maybe. Uh, and then I completely forgot the middle evolution of Rowlet. Tur tur Turtwig, right? Tur Turtwig. Yeah, Turtwig. Turtwig. Uh, Delph. Delph Fox's middle evolution. I completely forgot. That's kind of sad. It's... Br Breaks in. Um, Samurott's, uh, Chikorita, Chespin, and Empoleon. They're a little better. They still suck. Um, Scorbunny, Feraligator, Cinequil, Charmander, Ivysaur, Monferno, Snivy, Eevee, <laughs> Typhlosion, uh, um, Charmeleon, Sorvine, I forgot in the middle evolution of Rillaboom, and, uh, Grotal, they could be improved. They're, they're okay, but they could be improved. And Pikachu, Torcat, Torterra, Venusaur, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna stop saying all the names. People, the Pokemon and Seeds here, they're pretty mid-range. They're okay. And if they improved it, that would be epic, but they don't need improvement. They're they're okay Pokemon. B tier. Everyone in B tier. Great Pokemon. They're amazing. They're great Pokemon. A tier. Even better Pokemon. They're amazing. S tier. Gods. Greninja tier. God destroyers. You th see, th Greninja is the only one in God. Destroyer tier. So, guys, that's going to be the end of today's quite long video. Hopefully, you guys like this video. Make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe. Don't forget that notification bell. See you guys next video. Peace out.